Welcome to the Business Finance Bulletin, episode 281. We're going to the latest business finance bulletin with me, Rob Warlow from Business Loan Services, the commercial finance experts. In this bulletin, election brings much needed certainty, challenger banks driving efficiencies with partner tie-ups, and late payment practices improve in 2019. Well, of course, one of the biggest news items is, of course, the election results for 2019. Now, regardless of really what your politics are, the result has given one thing that businesses particularly have been craving over the last 12 to 18 months, and that is certainty. As I said, it doesn't really matter which side of the political divide you are, all businesses have been craving that kind of direction that the country needs. And what it's going to do is hopefully unblock this pent-up investment demand that's sitting in the economy. I've mentioned in many previous bullets how we've seen a lackluster kind of growth in bank lending because many small and medium-sized businesses have been reluctant to invest because they really don't know which direction the economy is heading. Well, hopefully that's a kind of really resounding majority that the Conservatives have got will now unblock that kind of investment drive that the country really needs. As I said, bank borrowing has been quite uh, static, but one thing that's been noticeable is the amount of money that businesses are sitting on in terms of their current accounts and their deposit accounts. Accounts. It's really at five, six years highs, and so we can see that there is money there ready to be deployed. Obviously, the economy is going to benefit as well from any spending that the central government undertake in terms of infrastructure projects, and that naturally has a trickle-down effect throughout the economy as well. So, what's the message for you? Well, of course, we've still got the uncertainty around Brexit. Yes, we've got the message of get Brexit done, but we really still don't know what that looks like. So, we may be an element of uncertainty until the end of the transition period in the end of. 2020 as to really see what direction we're heading. However, that level of certainty is now much more clearer. And so for you, it's a case of dusting off those investment plans. If you've got a little bit more confidence as to what the economy looks like and you think that you and your business will benefit, now is the time to start investing. If it's one thing that the challenger banks are known for, it's driving innovation through link-ups with third-party small business service providers. Uh, the first of the two that I've got for you this week is Metro Bank. They've announced a link-up with the Canadian tech firm Sensible. They'll be rolling out a trial for selected small businesses who are keen to get rid of paperwork within the business. So via the Metro Bank app and using the Sensible software, small business customers will be able to take a photograph of a receipt uploaded via the Metro Bank app, which will then recognize reconcile with the bank statement. Once that trial period is over, it's anticipated that it will morph into a full VAT and bookkeeping service. It's anticipated that there will be full rollout via the Metro Bank app in 2020. Uh, Starling Bank have also announced its first legal services firm to go onto their marketplace website. Now, Starling Bank's got 88,000 small business customers and the legal services provider that the customers will now be able to access is Sparker Legal. On their website, so they've got over 350 legal documents in terms of contracts, letters, policies and documents. Really useful for small businesses who perhaps don't want to go down the traditional solicitor route. Now you can sign up direct to Sparker Legal via their website and you can either buy documents one at a time or sign up for their £25 per month all you can eat a service. So two good examples there of these challenger banks continuing to be innovative by linking you up with third party service providers. As I mentioned in the first segment, with the election out of the way and hopefully certainty returning, business organisations are now pushing the government to tackle a number of business related issues, one of them being late payment. Well, Market Finance, formerly Market Invoice, has just done a new survey on late payment and there is an element of good news. And the survey found that 39% of invoices are still being paid late in 2019. However, that compares to 43% in 2018. So we can see the incidence of late payment is reducing. However, of those invoices that are being paid late, they are now being paid even later in 2019. So for example, on average, it's now taking 23 days for late invoices to be settled, compared to 12 days in 2018. Which sectors are suffering most? Well, the legal and professional services, 70% of their invoices are paid late. And also on the other side, 60% of manufacturers say that invoices are being paid late as well. So there are lots of stress points in various parts of 
the economy. So let's hope that the government does put a tackling late payments high on the agenda in 2020. That's it for another bulletin as ever. I hope you enjoyed watching and if you did, please don't forget to give it a like and a share. Look forward to being with you next time. In the meantime, have a great, successful and profitable week.